Central America has a dark and sad history of political instability over the last 50 years or so. And although the worst of it is behind them, for several of these countries, a hangover from that destructive and violent era is deeply embedded in the psyche of the population. As one would expect, when horrific violence, torture, random killings, and the machinations of much larger outside forces collide in your country and play out over many years, the scars will run deep. Today, just getting outside investment can be exceedingly difficult because of the residue from these civil wars and revolutions. Many countries in Latin America in general and Central, Amer Central America in particular have been controlled by what's known as a junta. A junta is basically a military dictatorship. So in other words, you have military leaders at the top of the government. Partly because of this, uh, Central America has experienced civil wars and revolutions. These went on from the 1950s through the 1990s. They were worse in Guatemala, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. Hundreds of thousands of people died during this period of time. But there was collateral damage to the neighboring countries. As you can imagine, if there's a very hot war going on and you're a small country and you border another small country, it's going to spill over into those bordering countries. And indeed, it did. In a lot of ways, these countries are still recovering from this historically bad era. But one country has avoided these issues. Who is it? 